the 3S process is a top level approach to any customer service situation. Use it as a framework for consistently succeeding with customers. It's Adam DePort, customer service expert, author, and speaker, and I'm here to talk with you about my 3S customer service process. I find it powerful to use processes as teaching tools. Processes help people remember the steps they need to take when executing a strategy. They give a framework for success. In Be Your Customer's Hero, I had a chapter devoted to the CATER process, a basic process for resolving customer service issues. CATER stands for Control, Acknowledge, Thank, Explain, Resolve. And it was a fine process, it was effective as a strategy, and generally reminded you what you wanted to do in working with a customer. As a process and as a learning tool though, I found that it had a few weaknesses. So I've been working for some time to create a process that could improve upon Cater, to correct its weaknesses, and now, in coordination with the launch of our new virtual training course, How to Deal with Difficult Customers, we are releasing this new system. It is, drum roll please, the 3S customer service process. Now, the 3S process is designed to create a memorable customer service framework that applies in virtually every type of service interaction. The 3S process is effective because the underlying structure is based on the best order for effectively managing customer psychology, particularly in more challenging service situations. Now, whether you're working with a pleasantly confused customer, a mildly frustrated customer, or a totally enraged one, the 3S process will give you the perfect roadmap for handling any customer interaction. So let's take a look at the three S's. Step one is soothe the psyche. Soothe the psyche means to address the customer's mental state. In this step, you should spend a lot of time listening and trying to understand not only what went wrong, but how the customer feels about it. Focus on establishing rapport and empathizing with the customer and work to guide the customer to a more positive emotional state. Step two, solve the screw up. Once you address the customer's emotional state, it's time to work to resolve the customer's issue. Of course, in many cases, the quote unquote screw up wasn't actually something that we did wrong, but the customer feels it's our fault. In this step, you want to be both solution focused and action focused. Work and find any options you can to successfully resolve the customer's issue. Step three is set up the success. This crucial third step is one that so often gets left out. It's often referred to as closing the loop, and it means to circle back with the customer, both at the end of the interaction and, when possible, after the interaction is over. Your goal is to see if there are any unresolved feelings or issues that need to be addressed. All too often, customers that we think are fully resolved are not. Now, you can set up the success by proactively making sure that the customer is operationally and emotionally resolved. All right, so there you have it. The 3S process is a top-level approach to any customer service situation. Use it as a framework for consistently succeeding with customers. I'm Adam DePort with CTS Service Solutions, and if you want to learn more about the details of what you do during each step of the 3S process, make sure to check out our new virtual training course, How to Deal with Difficult Customers, at howtodealwithdifficultcustomers.com. Imagine that. Also, please subscribe to the Customers That Stick YouTube channel to get more great customer experience and customer service content. I will see you in the next video.